hello there welcome back to my channel so today we'll be looking at the very last video in my series on cults right and what is the title of this video cultivating cult evading slash what should families do that is what should families what sh what should persons do when their family member when they realize that their family member is involved in a cult or is in a cult what can you do right so this is what we'll be discussing today it's really two topics you know that are merging one but still it should be very short now I'm, I'm, I, I, I took this topic from a book titled stolen minds understanding cults right and what I'm going to do is I am going to screenshot I'm going to screenshot to you the topics or screenshot to you from um, and send the pictures of these topics that is in the book. It's very short. So I'm going to show it to you and then we are going to have a little discussion where it is concerned. So that being said, have a look at it. Now, first thing first, what should families do when you realize that your loved one is involved in a cult? So now that you have seen the picture, you already know what I'm going to talk about, right? So what you can do is you can screenshot it yourself if you are watching it from a phone and somehow send it to another system, right? So that you can have something looking at while I'm actually, uh, you, can, you can actually be looking at it while I'm actually talking about what is being said in it right so here goes it is imperative that you seek skill guidance with someone who has extensive experience dealing with cult affected families right and if you had been following me up from my my first part of my series come down you should understand why when a person is involved in a cult you know it, it can be very very hard to actually get them to awake to 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 act to, it can be very hard to actually get them to realize what they're actually into so therefore you have to you have to approach the the issue with care and caution you understand so in the next part it says in the immensely difficult process of rescuing people from cults the critical role of families and close friends cannot be overstated the primal nature of these lifelong relationships is deeper and more genuine than the manipulative and orchestrated, orchestrated web of control constructed by the cult. Therefore, it is essential to keep focus on your relationship and to invest heavily in strengthening it. Because this is the key, you know, this is key in actually getting a person in, um, to wake up from out of a cult. Because what cults actually try to do it's to destroy relationships right you 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 realize that a person that is involved in a cult they will little by little become detached from those who they were close with or who perhaps they weren't as close with right so if they have been really close with someone then the person may not want to give up all of that for the cult it will be hard for them irrespective of what the cult is saying so that may very well be the ticket to actually get those persons to awake and, 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 and realize that they are actually in a cult. And as I go on further in this part of it, you will understand why. Now, the first point that is noted, strive to keep open all lines of communication without being overbearing. Try to have regular contact, preferably in person, right? Work on building trust and rapport. Point three, practice non-judgmental active listening. Ask open-ended questions that allow them to share what they see as positive about their involvement in the group. Right? Point four, try to elicit information about the cult 
and their involvement without sounding as if you are trying, you are prying or interrogating them. Point, the next point says model critical thinking and problem solving behavior to stimulate these skills in the cult affected person. Now this is very crucial, you know, because cults, it zaps one, one's critical thinking skills. So you want to try to practice to teach them, you know, like ask them questions and so forth, get their opinion, challenge them and let them be able to practice. You understand to think critically and to pick out logical things from out of illogical things right this is important if you intend to wake them up from out of the cult the next one says positively reinforce and gently encourage any non-cult related interests or activities keep a journal of the information you discover about the cult and any important details about your loved one now if you intend to wake them up from out of it you need to know about the cult that they are in first Find out the errors, the scandals, and every single thing that you can possibly learn about the cult. That is the only way you are, you are going to win your individual from out of the cult. Right? Learn as much as you can about the specific cult. The general topic of cultic influence and the process of helping people to re-evaluate re their involvement in a controlling group. Realize the process of encouraging someone to rethink his or her commitment to a cult can be long and arduous. Trust me, I know this all too well. Therefore, you have to be patient, you understand, when dealing with one who is involved in a cult. And, and the longer they are in it, it's the more patience that, you, that, that you'll have to um, try to muster up. You understand? Now the next point says, Make sure you take care of your own physical and spiritual needs. You will not function at high level necessary to you will not function at a high level necessary to help someone else if you become physically run down, emotionally drained or spiritually deflated. Try to use this crisis as a catalyst for your own personal and spiritual growth. Prayer is a more powerful resource. Consider taking some time to pray in your own words each day for the person involved in the cult so these are the steps that are recommended for you to do right when you when you when you have a, a loved one that is involved in the cult right now regarding the point about being drained trust me this is one of the reasons why i myself i don't really try so much you understand to to um evangelize primarily adventists i put out videos but i don't engage in debates with them and so forth because it is if you're not careful you can become real real run down trust me the the the, 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 the hold that that the cults have on them is so strong and it's like it's like it's like um cracking an egg you know when you boil the egg and the egg hard oh gosh and it's hot and everything maybe that that's not even a good example think about a coconut if you're cracking a coconut a really hard coconut and sometimes it can be really hard to crack that's how it is with persons who are involved in a cult very very hard to crack you talk to them from now till next week you address every argument you refute every one of them and it's like it still doesn't trigger something in their mind saying something is wrong Trust me, and it, it, it can be very discouraging. You understand, and so this is why you have to, you have to focus on you. You have to watch yourself when dealing with them. You understand, you can be emotionally drained. You can feel discouraged. You understand, and 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 and, and you'll feel it can zap. It can zap just about everything from out of you. You understand, so maybe sometime when dealing with them, you may want to pause at times. And then go back at it again. Don't just be doing it like every single day. You understand? Else you'll run down very quick. Right? So these are the steps that are recommended in dealing with someone who is in a cult. But one of the one of the key things, one of the key things to do in trying to win them based on what this is saying is your relationship with them. Right, try to strengthen your relationship with them daily because what this will do 
it will inspire trust in you the individual you understand because the thing with cults you know they try to take they 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 they, 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 they manipulate their members to such an extent that it causes them to mistrust just about everyone who is not in the cult and let me give you an example i i i used to speak to one particular person who is a seventh day adventist about the whole aspect of being a kjv only is you understand and this person was adamant that they only they only use kjv of late i see this person start to use different translation and and putting it on their whatsapp status and i was like oh so you finally see the light now you start you, you realize now that you can't be a kjv only is and they were like silent because it seems that like the person obviously changed but guess why the person changed nothing more than they got some information from someone within the cult that tells them the same thing and this causes them to actually change their stance so you see they they they, they, they will more take something they will more take what comes from a member in the cult than someone outside of the cult because cults it causes them to mistrust they they, they, they program their members to mistrust persons that are not in the cult so what you want to do you want to strengthen your relationship with them and try to get them to trust you and whatever you're doing don't make it obvious that you're trying to get them from out of the cult try to make it appear as though you're sincere in what you're doing right show genuine care and love for them you know when you ask questions about the group ask as if you genuinely want to know and you want to understand the things that they say and they believe because the minute they suspect what you're doing they're going to put up a barrier you understand they, they, there's going to be an instant barrier and, and, and it will cause basically um it will cause a barrier in communication between you and them you understand so these are the necessary steps and if you're going to recommend them to someone choose a specialist because it just takes one one um, um, mistake you understand and that may actually makes it may, makes it even harder for you to get your loved one from out of the cult when they realize that you're trying to draw them from out of it you understand no the other section that deals with cult cultivating cultivate um cult evading what it is talking about here is preventative measures you understand and about three six nine eleven methods are given you understand to as as means of preventing persons from getting involved in a cult one raise children in loving and supporting families with close relationships and open relation uh, open communication this will make it hard for cults to separate them from their loved ones when they have a close knit with relationship you understand two encourage children to develop a, a group of appropriate close friends and to invest in these relationships this is basically the same thing as the first three ensure that children grow up with a heavily with a heavy with a healthy sense of self-esteem because this this is crucial in that cults they try to give uh, they, they, they try to instill in the minds of individuals that of their members that they need them they can't do without them they determines their identity they determines their words and their value and every single thing they try to 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 to, to program their members to have some sense of dependence on them you understand as i would have mentioned before in previous um in previous video you understand so you want to uh, you want them to develop a sense of self-esteem and to add to that self-confidence as well you understand now the next one help children develop critical thinking skills and become street smart this is very 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 important you need to learn teach them from a tender age to use the common sense you understand this is the most vital tool you understand in 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 cold prevention right teaching them to think critically because with 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 with, with cult with calls when you understand what they teach and believe trust me you who are not involved in it you'll wonder if these people have any sense at all you understand they they won't even realize you know you understand because they have been brainwashed into the cult 
but you who are not in it you'll wonder to yourself if their brain is actually functioning properly how can they not see that that's garbage and it do and it doesn't make no sense whatsoever that's because their critical think thinking skills have been zapped you understand so you want to teach them from an early age to learn to think critically and use their common sense that god gives them you understand faster and healthy use of digital media you understand teach them how to use how to search and to decipher information and and, and the media you understand yeah because cult, cults they use the media too as well you know but they manipulate information and this is why you are to teach them how to use the media and so forth you understand and encourage a healthy um a healthy outlook on the media because a lot of them try to put the media in a negative light because that's where the information is you understand that exposes what they're saying so let them see not just the negatives of the media but the positives as well you understand now the next point at the appropriate age explain the principles of persuasion and manipulation and the ways they are used by everyone from salespeople to call recruiters right now let me give you an example about politics here using an example in JA you will hear just before election one person from the opposite side political campaign will start to talk all kind of things about the party that is in power you understand and guess what you see the very things that they accuse them of is the very same thing that they will do if they are in power they probably won't do any better but guess what the reason why they do all of that is to try to 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 take away your confidence in the party that is in power and so that your confidence can be placed in theirs simple psychology you understand and it's things like those you have to teach them from an early age learn to 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 let them understand that some things that you see no matter how good it it, it seems it is a strategy think about black friday whenever they have black friday you think persons are going to just cut prices like that just to give you because they are nice no they probably would have raised up the price just prior to black friday and then cut it afterwards without you even knowing so you think that you're getting a big discount you know when when reality are not you understand so simple psychology and things like those you have to teach them from an early age right encourage encourage children to discover and develop their personal strength and skills right next one model and teach healthy values attitudes and personal ethics make the home a place where judaism or christianity is experienced as a rich and joyous spiritual path now for the other one help nurture and find a way to channel children's innate sense of idealism and community responsibility and for the last one help children develop effective coping skills for managing stress and tolerating ambiguities in life and the reason for this you know is because cults they prey on persons vulnerability you understand if you feel a sense of worthlessness right you don't value yourself right you, you feel like you can't do anything you understand you feel down you don't know how to handle stress and so forth that's usually the time when persons want to see god you know you'll be in such a in such a hurry to go to god to turn out turn around your realities you understand so much so that you jump into a, 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 a organization that you think is a church not knowing it's a cult without even searching out the things that they're saying to you you just know that you want god and you want help which is not a bad thing you know but you, you you chose to come to him at a time when you're most vulnerable and so anyone can 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 have you like a puppet on a string you understand by taking advantage of that vulnerability you understand and so that is what these last points are emphasizing right that's what these last points are emphasizing teach them what once it once you make the home you understand in um as what it mentioned made the home a place where christian judaism is experienced as a rich and joyous spiritual path when you when when you know when you experience something that is wonderful in your life the minute you, you, you come to something you're not going to want to take on something that is worse than what you had before you know you understand so 
once you, you go into that system and you start to feel a strain and it feel hectic not like what you had before you are going to want to go back to where you were coming from like take for example when i first started my job and i'm accustomed to getting a certain amount of pay when i leave that job you know and go to other job you know it's hard for me to stay if i'm actually getting less pay than what i was getting before you know why all right let me use i'll give it give a going more details so for instance i get thirty thousand dollar fortnightly for my pay you think i'm going to want to set up for twenty thousand no i'm used to bigger money so those small money it's not going to do it for me i'm not going to get excited because i'm used to get uh, used to more money than that life is not about going backwards it's about going forward so you're going to feel like you're going backwards you understand so this is why the writer is saying you need to cultivate these things build a good atmosphere you understand that way when they go go to that cult, the cult that that has a lot of baggage they are going to want to run immediately and trust me cults have a lot of baggage you understand so that being said i end this video i do hope that you enjoyed it if you did please like comment where necessary subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you can receive notifications whenever i have made new uploads and last but not least share this video with whom you know will benefit from an amazing video like this bye bye now